Hello YouTube, my name is Marky Sparky and this is episode 26 on the Nevercraft server. Last time we built that building here behind me which houses our basalt and concrete maker. And today I want to start the next big project here on the island which will be a huge volcano right here where we are standing in this general area here. I am not certain we can finish it in today's episode though but we will start with it and see how far we can get. If you like what I'm doing here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to not miss the next video. Now sit back, relax and enjoy! Actually, in between episodes, I was busy, or I, well, I started to work on this part here on the island because, okay, <laughs> I missed the block there, let's fix that. Because, I mean, in the end, we want the whole island to be this basalt wasteland, which means that we should probably start to fill in all the gaps in between here and there and... Yeah, turn it into what we are we want it to be in the end because to fill way better <laughs> To fill all of that takes quite a long time. So there will be Short videos of me doing that here and there in between the other shots uh, in the videos and yeah, I like that actually <laughs> Also building up on yeah this small hill here is a good exercise for the huge volcano that I'm going to do. And I'm not really happy with the very, very flat areas like this one. Anyway, let's watch a short time lapse of me doing that while I prepare the volcano project here. Okay, so what I want to have is the volcano right here in this area and let's land up here. I want to have a quite steep um, side of the volcano here on this side so that it looks like the flower farm here is like built into... How am I missing all these parts here? <laughs> Uh, it's like built into the side of the volcano and maybe I also want to touch uh, the volcano to touch this building here on that side I'm not sure about that though yet What I definitely want to have is the path here leading through the volcano into that building <laughs> And I imagine that will look quite cool um, Yeah, how can I show you that properly here on that side? Like in between these two basalt parts here, I want to have a lava stream coming down into the water and I want to have the same on the other side, like, um, let's fly over here a bit, here, like maybe here going over there and then leading into the water here on that side, something like that. And yeah, the volcano base will reach like up to here maybe so that this 100 sign from our 100 subscriber episode um, is like here next to yeah where the volcano starts and well <laughs> that will be a huge project because the volcano itself will be quite high <laughs> definitely way higher than that building I imagine we'll see and what I want to do how I want to approach this is I want to have a volcano skeleton made out of dirt first because I think that will help with creating the actual shape and then filling everything with the basalt and lava streams and blackstone and stuff like that. <laughs> like what we have here. Mountain is there and then we yeah, put 
hmm, <laughs> put basalt all over it. So, um, I have no idea whether this will work out. <laughs> I will start replay mod now and let's see what will happen. <laughs> It just vanished on me. Rude. <laughs> so, uh, well, <laughs> don't judge it yet. Please don't judge that thing yet. This is just a simple skeleton. There's nothing finished about this, obviously. But I wanted to talk about my thought process here just a bit. So you see that I have or that I tried to incorporate all these natural stairs here into what is going to be the general shape of the volcano. And yeah, I decided to have it here, like next to the wall. So I can actually incorporate the building here into the side of the volcano, which I think will look quite interesting. Um, yeah, my idea about these natural stairs is that I don't want the yeah, this this the the sides of the volcano to be completely steep. I want to have like these these spiky things like like you can see right here, for example. Let's land right here. Like sp spikes like that or this or or that. I want to have that on the side of the volcano, right? So that you have like it's going up steep, there's like this thing and then it goes further up. And you cannot do that when you have a yeah, a completely steep side. That's why I incorporate all these these natural stairs here. And you have to imagine like having spikes here on this platform before it goes further up. Next platform over there, next spiky area, and then it goes further up. So that is what I think could work to make it look more interesting. I mean, this volcano will not look like... Um, realistic <laughs> but i don't care i want to have it interesting and fitting into the style of this base
Okay, I was just mending my my stuff here at Spex Guardian Farm. That thing is is crazy. Look at that. Look at that mess. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that our new girl, the smart blonde, has joined the server. And I want to go over to her place and see whether she's there. And maybe she can give us a small tour of her base. And yeah, of what she's doing over there. She is actually right across here at where our tunnel meets the south tunnel of the nether hub and yeah <laughs> my place her place Ooh, that's not too bad that's very woody though what's behind there i see i see <laughs> let's head straight through this portal and see what we can find there i see a name tag there she is <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's funny that that worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just heard the plop sound and I thought, hmm. <laughs> hmm what, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if you would give me a small tour of what you have here. Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe um, after sleeping. Ooh, yeah. that's, that's that's a <laughs> lot of, oh no no I looked at the enderman um, get, get in very yeah. fast <laughs> there are a lot of uh, creepers and mobs around I have not lit up the other side of the island um, there was a villager on that bed and when he got up oh. he escaped through the wall <laughs> no, I think I have to move the bed a bit down in, more in the middle Yep, now he's outside. Maybe there. Uh, <laughs> that happened last time. He was just chilling outside and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, now Ow. you know why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, this is my uh, starter house. Yeah, it's, it's, lovely. it's Yeah, it's medieval. Like all the stuff I built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a lot of leaves everywhere. I actually used smooth sandstone. I have not used that actually in a build recently. I like it. Yeah, <clears throat> but it was a pain to get uh, the leaves on top of the house because it's like just above too tall. So I can <laughs> jump on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I yeah, have yeah. to place like dirt everywhere, everywhere. But yeah. There's still someone alive over there. Ha! Ooh! Yeah, my... Ooh. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> didn't expect that. <laughs> no! Wow! <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I really like it. I also like that you are my new nether neighbor. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's just... Uh... Oh, hello. And I also have done a little bit of interior, but not much. He's blocking some... my way, though. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, and upstairs, like, here's my... If I mess something up in my video, Ooh. then I just stand here and press F5 and just talk. <laughs> oh, and I heard you are uh, planning to do a terracotta shop. Yes, yes. Yeah, I uh, was thinking about what I could do for shop. Yeah. And there are not a lot of things left and I don't want to build a shop that is already there, essentially. That totally so, uh, makes sense. And I was thinking terracotta. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to sell a large amount of terracotta, you have to mine all that. Yes. <laughs> so what are you thinking about? I give you this. And I help yeah. you a bit. And I also have I have a bit of terracotta at my base, which can be maybe the first stock of the shop. And awesome. I'm guessing you want to sell different colored terracotta. Yeah. I do have All a flower the, farm, you the, know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. That would actually be qu uh, quite nice because um, I don't have a lot of space here to build uh, a <laughs> yeah. uh, flower farm. Yeah. So uh, 
that would be actually great. So I'm thinking we could maybe partner up on that. What do yeah. you think about that? That would be awesome. I nice. re would really like that. <laughs> Let's do that then. Woo! Yeah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I helped her to get another villager over from my villager breather to her base. But let's get back to the volcano. I realized that this was quite a lengthy time lapse. I hope I didn't bore you with it. And thank you very much if you are still watching the video. <laughs> well, let's work a bit more on that thing because up to now this cannot be considered a volcano, right? Because, I mean, for now this is just a huge pile of basalt and it needs the characteristics of a volcano, which is uh, like lava and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, so what I want to have is a small lava pool here on the side of the volcano where I left a bit of uh, space here, which then empties out into this part of the ocean here, falling mobs. But yeah, I explained that before I did the time lapse, right? And one up there, emptying out here on the side that we cannot see into this part of the ocean. Or at least this is what I plan to do. Let's see how this works then. Okay, first of all, I need to gather a lot of lava. And I usually do this down here. <laughs> because that is very easy accessible from my base. And... I brought a lot of buckets, so let's do that first. Look at those striders being all cold and all. <laughs> Get back into lava, guys. You're shaking. This will definitely not be enough lava, but I mean the nether is quite near, so we can make a few more trips there whenever we need more. Okay, so this is actually where the blackstone comes into play, because I want to have like yeah, this, this dark accent color for the lava. I mean, you won't see most of it probably because it's, I mean, this, this is supposed to be filled with lava uh, yeah, the whole way. <laughs> but I think here on the side, actually, you will see the black stone and yeah, uh, let's see. I think this might look quite cool. So I want it to come out of there, drop down there and flow all the way to the water. And down here, I actually don't want it to touch the water because then it makes the obsidian. I don't want it to make the obsidian. I want it to, yeah, look a bit more realistic. So I have like these uh, magma blocks here all around, also in the water down there. I think this looks quite cool, actually. That does not, though, so <laughs> better here. All the small details. Nobody will ever look here into the water, I guess. But, yeah. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So let's put the lava up there and see how this actually works. Five buckets for the start. <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> whether this will do as I plan. But let's put one here and see where this flows. I mean, this will take a while. Lava flows quite slow here in the overworld. How do I get up there now, now that I have placed my box here? Okay. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> For real. <laughs> okay, let's put another one here. Okay, it doesn't flow exactly how I want it to flow. But... Yeah, we can, we can work on that. Yeah, now that looks way more like a volcano already. It's a bit straight. Uh, yeah, it's it's very, very straight. I, I will try to maybe you know, build something in here. So it, it has to go a bit like that and then detail it all around. And then this will look way better. But yeah, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That makes a difference. Now the same thing up there and on the other side, which will take way longer. <laughs> You know what? That isn't too bad. That was completely random. I just let it flow down. I guess I will show you that in replay mod if it works. 
And well now we have got a pool here and a pool there that we can yeah, let loose as soon as we have prepared everything around here. <laughs> that isn't too bad. Sometimes the random things look quite interesting. And I like how there are these basalt spikes standing out of the lava here and here and here and up there. <laughs> and I also like the blackstone up here. And I think I want to get a few of these blackstone pillars all around where the lava is dripping down because that looks quite interesting and gives it a nice accent color here. Or rather the lava looks more like an accent then. Let me do that. Oh yes, that looks so much better. Look at this. I love it. Look at this. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Now I have to get this lava stream down here. That one also. And... Whew. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Guys, I got carried away big time. I, I think this is the most grindy episode that I have yet made. <laughs> Oh, I put another couple of hours into that whole thing. It might not look like it, but I placed all these campfires. I tweaked all small little details here and there, and that takes so long. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look. This is what I have now, guys. <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> Oh, that is just crazy. So I finished the flowing lava here and there and I um, extended it with magma blocks underwater, which I think <laughs> is quite nice. <laughs> oh yes. And it's laggy, all the particles here. <laughs> oh yeah, and I also I, um, tweaked this lava stream here so it is now not as straight anymore from up top this looks weird but from angles that you would see it like this now this actually looks awesome i think oh yeah i am totally happy with this oh yeah look at that <laughs> It's hard to show that off, <laughs> but I have prepared a potion of slow falling here. So let's wait for night time and then we can take a look at the whole thing in its full glory. Oh, actually, while we wait for night time, let's take a look inside. So I added a whole bunch of campfires underneath these magma blocks here for the smoke. And yeah, that, that just adds that extra bit of detail that the whole thing needs. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Ignore the part on to the left here. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you get out here. <laughs> and you have the lava stream coming down here. Underneath the bridge over here. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and in here. That is everything but finished. <laughs> But just imagine the interior here with a nice tunnel that leads from over there right here into the center of our um, concrete and basalt uh, blowing up chamber. <laughs> and this will be absolutely awesome, guys. Okay, night time is approaching. Oh, look at this in the evening sun. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, the sun is gone, so let's check out the whole thing. The glowing volcano here at night <laughs> with a slow falling potion. Oh yeah, look at that guys. <laughs> no, no. Why I don't even have my sword with me. Where are they? Bam! 
Oh wow, how did I miss that? I absolutely love this view here <laughs> of the whole island. Let's get a few meters far. Oh, come on. Three again. And the third one. Come back. Yes. <laughs> Leave me alone, you. <laughs> but I... Ow. One more. Come here. Bye bye. <laughs> this episode was really, really, really grindy and I have to get to editing to get this out in time. <laughs> so this is going to be it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed the whole island transformation part two here. I hope you like the volcano that we have now. And if you do so, Make sure to hit the like button on the video, subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. I guess all that is left to say now is thank you very, very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.